What have you won? That's it. You just need a talisman. I've got a talisman. No. So ne I think it's your next turn, I'll go. We'll play it this next turn. I'm not sure if that's in the rules or not. I'll have to check, but you get one last turn. Oh, my. See if you can get a spell or something that can um, block me or teleport me. Or oh, my God. Oh, this is actually intense. I need to think hard about this. What can I do? Have I got anything? Yes, some of the players I used to play with back in the day, they would save really nasty spells, like hex spells and things, to cast you right at the end. Oh. Three. Okay. Come on. One, two, three. Three. Roll two dice. Nothing like nine. Gain one spell. Ooh, that's what you wanted. Yeah. You might get a spell that can cast a meteor. Wait, but I've only got three craft and I've got a spell already, haven't I? I think you could discard that spell to get another. I think that's yeah. Allowed. So get rid of that spell. Oh my god, please! And see if it's something please. That's exactly what you want to. I think mean, that's a fair. Please. Oh my god, I'm begging you, please give me a good spell. Greetings fantasies, I'm Kane and welcome to the Fantasy Channel. Today we're playing Talisman, the ball game. This is Totem Warrior vs Dwarf. Who will prevail? In Talisman, your luck can change at any time. In this video, one player starts out surprisingly lucky, but does their luck last until the end? Or does the other player overthrow them with skill and cunning? So alright guys, so we're playing Talisman. Let's see what happens here. Yes, it's Talisman, a game, it's an old game from the 80s, I think. We're playing the vanilla game. We do have the city expansion and the forest expansion, but we haven't added them in today, but we are using some of the characters. For example, I've randomly rolled up a character called the Totem Warrior. Yeah, and I've rolled up the dwarf. A rather classic from the base game. We've got a dwarf against a, a spiritual totem warrior. So, straight into the game, see who goes first. Whoever rolls highest on a d6. So, I don't know this game too well, so you're going to have to guide me a little bit here. So, what you got to roll what? See who, see who goes first. It's whoever rolls highest on a d6 to get the first go. Alright, oh, okay. I roll a five. Okay. Yes, I roll a six. You roll a six. Alright, okay. So, I, I start fast. <laughs> right, okay, so. Um, the dwarf starts in the crags, which is over here. We've already got the character here, based down. Okay, think. yeah. Got the dwarf. Yeah. Okay. And he starts in the crag. So roll one d6. Use that dice because it's, it's easy to see. Yeah, all right, okay. Use over here in case you need two or three. Dice. Yeah. Okay. Roll it on the board in the middle. Then you can choose which way you go and then interact with the space as you land on it. Okay, come on. Six again. <laughs> <laughs> Another six. Um, so what, I can go any direction? You can go clockwise or anti-clockwise anti six spaces. So what's the advantage of going this way? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hills or one, two, three, five, six. What's that? The, the graveyard. So what, what are the differences? Well, you have to depend on your alignment and the dwarf is neutral. So it says, replenish fate up to your fate value at the cost of one gold each. Because you haven't lost any fate, you haven't used your fate cards, there's no, there'll yeah. be no advances to you. It's, it's not a dangerous space. And heals is just draw one card. Which is probably the better option. Okay, so I'll do that then. So, Unless it's a dragon. One, two, three, four, five, six. So draw one card. So what we've done, we've split our adventure packs up. We just randomly shuffled them and they just randomly chose one each, just so we don't have to lean across the board. We've got the magic cards and the adventure cards. So, Kane, okay, if you'd like to draw that top card okay. and then do what it says on the card. Oh my god, I can't believe it. A dragon? Yeah, it's a dragon. Seriously? It's a dragon. Is it really a dragon? Yeah, a dragon. 
Oh my god, I was joking when I said I cursed it. Oh god, it's a dragon. I actually said, oh, unless it's a dragon. Strength 7. A fearsome dragon is terrorising this area. It will remain here until it is killed. 7 strength. Um, do I have to fight that? Yeah. Oh, have I got oh, you may have vague creatures and characters in the hills. Is it really? Is it? <laughs> oh my god. So a dragon, so put it actually in the space so we can put it sideways onto it because under your character. We know it's oh, that. Oh. Yeah. So you may evade creatures and characters in the hills. So that's advances for you, so I've now got to be careful of landing. That, that literally went from like like unlucky to lucky. Yeah, it did. It literally that, span of and that, that's talisman in a nutshell. Fate can change at a dice roll. You can be right up here near the end and something something bad will happen. And then the other player is out here and something good happens. They get near the end and win. So, yeah, so don't find... a lot of luck in this game. Don't land on that dragon. Right, my turn. All right. right. So I start over here in the forest. And I also roll All a right. six. Okay. Right, so I go one, two, three, four, five, six to the sentinel. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. The words. What does it say in the words? Draw one card. I'm going to do that. So if you can just move my character around to the so, um, Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Draw one card. Let's see what happens to me. What's that? Right, so. The Fairy Glade. What? I think this is from the Woodland expansion, which have added the cards in, even though we haven't put the expansion, just because it would have made the board too big and it was very difficult to get the camera angles. Um, it says it's a place. Oh, I'll put it down here, over there. Um, the Fae inhabit this place, inviting you to join in their mad and merry dance. When encountered, draw one woodland card and add it to this space. Ah, oh. one woodland card. I've... Okay. Have you not got we're, that? We'll see how that goes because I've put the woodland cards over here. So let's see what happens if I draw a woodland card. Okay. So we're doing the um Oh we'll add them onto the vanilla board, yeah, and see what okay. happens. So whatever that card, see what it says. Unicorn. Add once your strength and once your cross. Oh. So I get a follower, a unicorn. Already? Yep. Yeah. So And I got a dragon. Uh, <laughs> so what do what do we do with this card? So have a look at it. Um I can't remember. I'm just going to quickly check the rules while you're having a go, whether that card stays there. So do I just like rod D6 or...? Uh, yeah, if you carry on with a D6. Okay. Come on. Alright, come on. Four. Um, so you can go any direct... Wait, so can I go back this direction? Yeah, you can any turn you can go either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Oh, is that um, tavern or...? It's been a long time since I've played this game. All the runes. What's the runes? Do not draw one card. Oh no, not the runes. Um, woods. Draw one card. Or... One... Get a drink and collapse in a corner. Okay, so I've wrote... You know what? I'm going to do the tavern one. So, okay. one, two... Oh, so I've got to roll a d6 die. Yeah, roll one die. Let's see what happens. Five. A wizard offers to teleport you to any other space in this region as your next move. Lad. Was that? A wizard, a wizard offers to teleport you to any other space in this region as your next move. Okay. So is that like now or is that your turn next? Next move. Your next go you can teleport anywhere you like. Okay. A six again. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. six gets me to the woods. So I'm gonna do. No. One, two, three, four, five. Fields. Oh, good. Okay. Draw one card. Ah, oh, saber tooth tiger. <laughs> Strength four. That's, that's bad. A mighty feline hunts in this area. It will remain here until it is killed. Right, so I'm going to do battle with a saber toothed tiger with strength four. And I'm strength three. But because I'm a totem warrior, I started with an axe, 
this gives me one to my strength four. I've also got a unicorn to add strength. So I've got a total of five strength. Right, so if you roll for the monster first. Okay. <laughs> All right, come on. Four plus whatever. <laughs> and I've got four lives. A three. three. Seven. Okay. So only a one will I lose a life. No. Uh, you're so, on another six. So my guy, he's got a, a hand axe. He slays this saber-toothed tiger that is hunting in the fields. And he gets it and keeps it. So you call it sober, a saber-tooth. A saber-toothed tiger. Oh, I thought you said sober. Okay. And so I'll keep that, because if you can get seven strength points, I can cash that in for an additional strength play. So that was a good battle. Yeah. All right. It's my turn. It is indeed. And remember, you remember last time? Oh, yeah, I can go to any... Um, point of the ball, can't I? Um, so what are the options? You can draw two cards. What's that? A, a village? By the way, we got a coffee. Kane was up late last night doing a video for what was it, half four in the morning? Was it? Yeah. <laughs> so if he falls asleep, or I, if, he, if he doesn't see something on the board and we don't remind him, it's fair. <laughs> Um, just so, just while you're thinking, just so my character, the totem warrior, that guy there, I don't know if you can see it, um, it says, special ability, begin the game with an axe, and when you defeat an enemy in battle or psychic combat, which I did, and I've forgotten, um, put one totem spirit token on your character card, so I've got one of these totem spirit tokens I can have up to three and then I can use them in battle for certain abilities like adding um, one to the dice roll or um, healing a life replenishing one fate or gaining a spell if my craft allows it my craft is three which allows one spell so next time I can use that to get a spell oh. so what does the village say village the village right so you've got a choice um visit the blacksmith healer or mystic the blacksmith purchase any if available um, you can if you've got two gold you can get a helmet a sword for two gold an axe for three gold a shield for three gold or armor for four gold you've only got one gold, so there's no point going there healer or mystic right so the healer heal up to your life value at the cost of one gold each okay. you haven't lost any so you don't need to do that and the mystic you roll the dice, it says one become evil, two you're just ignored, three you're ignored, four you become good, five you gain one craft, six you gain one spell. So if you roll a dice, five or six going to the mystic, you might get an advantage. It's safe. Um, what's the graveyard? The graveyard is based on your alignment, you get your fate back up, um, up to the back cost of one gold each. Remember, you can use fate to roll, re-roll one dice of okay. your own. Um, any advantage? What was that? Is that the chapel? I can't remember. I can't read it. Is it? Which one is this? The chapel, yeah. Yeah. It depends on your alignment. So you're neutral. Heal up to your life value at the cost of one gold each. So if you have lost three life, pay three gold, you get okay. two life. Um... Do I get anything for Krag since that's like my starting area? I think it's just that you avoid enemies or whatever it says on your okay. character sheet. I think the dwarf just has lots of advantages in different areas of the board. So if I had to land on ruins, what do you mean draw two cards? You, you take two cards. What, so I get two cards? Yes, it's, it's, it's quite wild luck, isn't it? You might get so, two good items or two enemies. Okay. You've got the same strength, you have to fight them. So together. the options are draw, draw two cards or... Mystic yeah. D6. They'd be good options. Um, yeah, I'll go for the Mystic. I want a spell. Okay. okay. So you need to roll a D6. A D6. You want five or six, I do. Come on. Come on. I'm going to roll. I need to roll a six. He's going to get a one, I think. No, he? I need to roll a six. Oh, what? I rolled a one. You rolled a one. What was a one? <laughs> right. You be, well, you become evil. Ah. Oh. So you've got to now take an alignment card, which I... Th it was I'm evil now. I'm an evil dwarf. Which one was it? What does an evil dwarf do? 
There you go. So you got to look, put that face up. So it's like if you go to the chapel, um, you lose one life. So right up at this, just next to your character anywhere, just like to show you any, anywhere you like, so you know where it is. Um, there's quite a lot of things like the graveyard of evil. You replenish your fate up to your fate value for free. Okay. Or pray by rolling one dice. You ignore, gain a fate, and gain a spell. So, so I'm now evil. Yeah. So you want to? <laughs> okay. Right, so that's your turn finished, yes? Yep. Right, so um, I'm going to cash in my spirit token to get a spell. Now we've put spells over here, my pile's over here. So I don't want you looking at this, like this, is face, this is a face down pile. So, ah, ah. <laughs> ah. I think I'll keep that to be used as I need. Okay. Is it my turn? Um, no, I can oh. close off. A two. Hmm. Pretty much the same either way, so I'll just come over to the fields. Draw one card. Right. Oh, I get another follower. A maiden oh. follows me. She, perhaps she likes my unicorn. She goes, oh, he has a unicorn. He must be good. I'm going to follow him too. You want another? Add two to my craft. You want two, two crafts so already? Totally free to my craft now. So I've got craft. That's really lucky. Six. God. Okay. Is it my turn? It is indeed. Three. So let's draw one card or draw one card. So what? Any advantage of being in the plains or woods? Uh, nope. Okay. One, two, three. So the words draw one card. Okay. Exchange immediately for one gold and then place this card on the discard pile. So one gold, please. One gold? Yeah, and then discard this card. Okay. So put it face down on the next to your pile. Right there. Yeah. Okay. That's your turn done. Yep. So if I rolled a two, hmm. oh. six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All oh, right. Yeah. Take on my character. I don't think we're gonna. I, I don't know. PVP. We haven't really decided much on that. But I draw a card. Okay. Another follower, a mercenary. What? Another follower? You've got three followers now. I haven't even got any. But if I want him as a follower, I have to pay a gold. Why is your follower? He will add three to your strength in battle at the end of your turn, while you pay one gold. No. You may pay one gold. So, okay, I will keep him and I'll pay him his gold. How, how long does he last for? Until I, uh, it says, um, while he is your follower, he will add three to your strength in battle until the end of the turn. Provided you pay one gold. You may only pay him one gold once per turn. So at the end of the turn? Yeah. Okay. So that's like after a dice roll. Okay. My turn. Alright. I'm getting a bit of a crowd here. Come on. Three. So... That's the chapel, or give it back to the village. What does the chapel do? Remember, again? you're evil now. So what so happens? You'd lose a life. Okay, I'm not going there. <laughs> so I think you should go the other way. One, two, three. They've heard about you. So what? What's this? Um, what, what are the options again? Mystic or what? You can um, visit a blacksmith, the healer, or the mystic. So you two gold. Got, have you got two gold? I've got two gold. So what you can buy for two gold? You've got a choice now: a sword or a helmet. Probably worth buying. Okay, what does the helmet do again? I'll have a look on the find the helmet in the um, um in there somewhere. Okay. Sword, add one to your strength during battle. He is good to have. Shield. Shield again. Helmet. If you're defeated in battle and just lost a life, ro roll one die. If you roll a six, the helmet protected you, and you did not lose that life, though you still lost the battle. Okay, so 
What, there's a helmet, a good option, or? Don't know, they're both quite good. Um, one strength, so what's my strength at the moment? Three, so we get four strength, or I can, if I get defeated in battle, I don't lose a life. So, I don't lose one of these. And remember, until you have a mule, you can have four items. So, remember, you can only use one weapon in battle. Uh, take the helmet. Okay. Where am I putting that? Under and the objects. objects. Yeah. And do I just put this back in there? Like there. Okay. Six. six. One card. Fields. Four. Fields. Stay away from that track. Right. I've got a magic belt. One to my strength. Magic belt? <laughs> what? The luck is on my side today. you got three followers and a magic belt. And an axe. That's really lucky. I can't believe it. Right. Perhaps I should do PvP after no. all. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. These are all the ones. Come on. Three. The plains or the woods? It's the same either way, isn't it? So um, Talisman is such a classic game, but it's always got... Every game you play, is, it's never the same twice. Uh, so draw a card. Right. Basically the same as the last card, but I get two gold this time. Great. So exchange me for two, so I've got... Wait, I didn't discard the two oh, gold. Oh, just keep them here. <laughs> um, two bags of gold, so I've got my two gold back. He's a thief, isn't he? <laughs> He's a thief dwarf. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't even notice you did not You could have kept quiet, but now I've got four gold. Yeah. I wouldn't have known. Yeah. Four. Hmm. In the hills, what happens? Um, Miser Dragon. What? <laughs> Strength eight, Dragon. Oh my god, what? You venture inside the den of a Miser Dragon. Oh, lucky, unlucky you're not me. And Just awaken the beast. Hills, right, I could escape from that. Right. If you kill and if you kill the dragon, you loot its hoard. Roll one dice and gain that much gold. So if I roll a six, I get six gold to beat this thing. God. But I've got to fight a dragon. You're taking it on. Yeah. Okay. Um, hold on a minute. Um. One, two. Remember, I've got a mercenary. Okay. See that? Five. Six. I've got nine strength and it's got eight strength. Wow. Right, so if you want to roll for the dragon. Come on. A six! Ah. Oh dear. But oh my god. I defeat it with my. You roll the six. Axe. You roll the six. It does this attack on me. I destroy the dragon and get how much gold? It you rolled. Loot. Oh my god, I can't believe you rolled a six and actually beat that. <laughs> I rolled a six as well. And get one gold. <laughs> oh no. One gold. Okay. But I get his card, I get a gold, and I get my token back. Okay. So my it's my turn. Mm. Um come on. I need some luck in these rolls. Five. Um oh, so that's the crags. Oh, one, two. Forest. Well, I'm in the crags again. I don't have to roll, do I? Nah, that's fine. So, five. One, two, three, Hold four, on, just... five. So, the forest. Roll one die. What? Roll one die. Okay, I've got to roll the dice. From the forest. Ah, five. What is that? I can't read it. Four to five. Safe. Okay. Oh my god, it wasn't safe. I didn't even realise. Okay. I thought it was like a draw one card thing. Three. One, two, three. Neutral. Okay. 
I haven't used any fate. One, two, three. The cracks. Hmm. Hmm, I'm going to go to the cracks. One, two, three. Roll the dice. See what happens. Five. Safe. No effect. Okay, same as me. One. And the five again. One, two, three, five. So the planes or one, two, three, four, five, or the woods. No, go to the planes. One, two, three, four, five. Draw one card. All right. Astral Conjunction. Event. The stars are aligned and magic flows strongly through the land. Each character, starting with you, may gain one spell if his craft allows. The Astral Conjunction then, the astral conjunction then passes to the discard. So, if you've got enough craft, you can get one spell. Well, yeah, you, I've got a spell, so I can't have a... Hold on. Craft. What? Four. Oh, what? Five, six. I can't believe. I can get, we both get a spell. So oh. you take the, don't show me your spell. So what was the spell one? Those ones, the top one of those. These ones? Yep. Yeah. Where do you put this? Just put it face down next to your character sheet with you. Um, right, I'm actually going to cash in, even though it's eight points, I'm cashing in my dragon for a strength point. Okay. I want, an, I think it's important early on. Eight strength? You need seven points to cash in, so I'm going to lose, even though I lose a point, it's eight. No. I don't mind losing that point to get another strength now. So you have to use your strength to get the strength? I, you have to use up seven points. Of what? Enemy total. Like if you look at my cards, that is a strength 8 and that is a strength 4 for 12. Yeah. If there had been 14, I could have got two strength. Okay. But instead of that, I have to use that but waste a point because it's 7. Right. I only need 7, so I'm using that card up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Just because I think having 4 strength now is quite important early on in the game. Okay. Okay, this is my turn, isn't it? Yeah. The black dice is there. Oh, yep, right in front of me. <laughs> five. five, right. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm coming back to the Wiggins. Okay. What was that? Draw one card. Remember, with an act, you can build a rock. What? Mm -hmm. Any point we go. Yeah. <laughs> no, not yet. I mean, we're not even ready. Draw three cards. <laughs> Isn't that? Just yet. Let's draw a card and see what happens. The princess. Another follow. You may have up to two lives per visit here at the castle for free. You may exchange the princess for free gold at the castle. If you do this, you must place on this card. So if I get to the castle, I can sell her to the castle mm. for free gold. So the castle is over. Where's the castle? Here, there you go, the castle's out. Oh, right, it's the middle. My turn. A two. There, draw a card. What? Sabarus. Strength seven, craft seven. Place Cerberus on the portal of power. Players may not cross to the plane of power while Cerberus is on the portal of power. Cerberus cannot be evaded. You must choose where to attack Cerberus when using strength or craft. Okay, so portal of power is there, so you put him there. Oh, so you got to fight this thing now. That's Cerberus. Oh, so you pronounce it? Yes, yeah, Cerberus. Cerberus. What was, what was I saying? Multiple-headed... Um, beast from um, the guards of the entrance to Hades. All oh, right, yeah. Right, so that's made that more difficult. 
Yeah. Okay. We might help in my favour if you if you're getting that ahead. Right, five. One, two, three, four, five. Back that way. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm gonna go to the forest. Roll the dice in the forest. Six. Um, should be good, shouldn't it? Right, so another craft point. That's lucky. Okay, here we go. Okay. That's six. One, two, three, four. Thanks for the fields. Brutal hobgoblin is stalking this area. It will remain here until it is killed. Ooh, you gotta fight that. Okay. Alright, well. He's got free strength. Okay. I've got free strength. Fair enough. Let's the enemy go first. You got no items or to look your uh, helmet. Or your spell if that if that matters for him, I don't know. Well. Okay, so what is it a goblin, you say a hobgoblin? Uh yeah, hobgoblin. Hobgoblin. Oh. Five. What weapon does he have for the other? Oh no. He's got his fists. Six! Oh, well <laughs> ah, yeah! Got him. Do you take him? Where'd I put him? Just put him to the side somewhere and sort of collect him. Like there? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, what was so, alright? That's nice. Good. Got him. Um, I'm going to. Cash in my token, my spirit token, one of my powers. It says, I, at the start of your turn, you may discard one totem spirit token um, for a different thing, but one of them is to gain one spell if your craft allows. And because I've got six craft, I can have three spells. So I'm going to do that on another spell. Okay. Um... It says, I can cast this spell at any time. It's nullified. Cast on any other character. That character must discard all their spells. No. You've got to get rid of your spell. What? Get rid of your spell. No. <laughs> was it a good spell? It was a good spell. Would I put that? In the discard spell. <sighs> what did you have? Acquisition. So if you got a really good item, I could have stole it off you and been a real true. Yeah, you could have stolen my magic belt. I wanted to keep it for when you, if you got a really good item. Probably I would have got that quite quick. No, if you got like a rune sword, true. I would want that. I would okay. steal it. Right, it's my turn. Oh, that's lucky. You got that. One. Well, let's come back to the field. I think. Ooh, a serpent strength four. Okay, let's fight that. So. Hmm, do I want to pay my mercenary or not for this fight? Let's see, four strength, five, six, seven. I'm not actually paying him for this fight. Right, so let's fight him. If you can roll the dice for him. Okay. Oh, four. Four, so an eight. Okay. You can only tie if I roll a one. Four. Oh, okay. I beat him. Right. So, eight points. The next turn, I'll cash them in for another strength point. Okay. Come on. Please. Please. Two. What does that do? One, two. So the fields or planes. Enchanter. An enchanter seeks an able adventurer. To the first character landing here with a craft of four or more, he will grant one of the following wishes of his choice. Then vanish to the discard pile. Gain one spell, gold, strength, craft, life or fate. Or teleport any space in this region. That's a good card. So what you Craft of four or more. I haven't got that amount of craft. Oh, is that what it said? If you got... 
four or more car off. Yeah. Oh, I need to get there quite quickly. Don't I? <laughs> <laughs> what? I might even be strong enough to take that dragon on now. If I pay my mercenary. Is there anything I can do with this hobgoblin to get more craft? No, you need to, um, no, because he's, you get craft by beating spirit oh, creatures. God. And you put them slightly separate. We haven't, you haven't fought any spirit creatures yet. Okay. Okay, was that your go? Yeah, that was my go. Right, six. What? One, two, three, four, five. Can you put me in, what's that one? Um, the planes. You say draw one card. Draw one card. Right, the magician, a stranger. Right. You may change any or all strength points you have, except those right from the forward, into craft points or vice versa. Wherever not you use his power, the magician then vanishes to this card. Mm. Any or all strength points you have. So I can swap them round. Right. Okay. Hmm. If I move a craft, I've only got two spells, so I wouldn't move a spell, would I? Okay. Hmm. Right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get rid of two of my craft and add two to strength. Hmm, so you can't do the enchanter anymore. What's that? You can't do the enchanter anymore. What does that mean? The enchanter needs four craft, doesn't he? Oh, but I've got four craft. Oh, okay. Right, so I need a large red one. The large is equal five points. I'm not doing well here. I'm not even moving. Right. Um, it's your turn. Okay. Um, five. Yeah. I'll draw two cards. Two dragons. All right. So I've got a sword. Add one to your strength during battle. Oh, that's good because you didn't choose the sword. Did yeah, I've got a helmet. And a vent. Blizzard. Winter has come with a vengeance and a blizzard envel envelops the land. For two rounds, all characters, no matter what region they're in, may only move one space per turn. The blizzard then abates to the discard pile. So for two rounds. That's ideal. Why? <laughs> Two rounds, I mean one at a time. Well, get me. Where will I end up in two rounds? Oh, the Enchanter. Oh, what? I wanted That's why I went around that way to get there. That sort of blizzard slows me I down. I can't. Right. Okay. So that's what you needed, isn't it? Three. Oh, but well, hold on. It's one. T I, I don't roll the dice. What we don't use move one, don't so, you? But that, I just want to read this card again. You discard that. We will have, yeah, sorry, I will discard that. I need to read the rules up a bit more about this. We've chosen, I've left it in from the other pack. I can't remember what to do with it. Um, so I'll just, I'll, what does it say? Draw, Draw one card. A bag of gold. Right, straight away. Sit, change immediately. It's your turn. Um... Card. Oh. Does it tell you? Um, generally. So, what spells you keep quiet, but these sort of cards you, you tell? I presume so, yeah. I can't remember a card that you keep secret. No, you really... uh, half room. Instead of your normal move, you may teleport to your start space. 
You must then ditch the half rune on the space that you move. Okay. Um, does it say you have to do that any time? Does it say, can I still read the card? Can I? Yeah, you can, uh, you can make, I may teleport to the crags. Oh, right, yeah, okay. It's an object, isn't it? A magic object. Yeah. Know? Yeah, it's just an object. Right, so I move one more square along. Let me just read that. Can you move my character? Right, so the stranger, the enchanter. Right, I'm gonna use him up for a strength point. Okay. So my strength base is seven, eight, nine with the axe, ten with the unicorn. Mm. <laughs> um, and if I wanted to pay a mercenary a goal, it's thirteen. God, you can take on that sentinel now. I could go to the middle, couldn't I? And move on. I'm really behind. I've only got three. <laughs> No, I'm at four now, maybe. Oh, oh wait, is the blizzard over? Yeah. So I can oh, no, did, have you moved? No, is it one more? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so you go one way either way. Okay, let's go to... Um, four. Gamble and win one gold. <laughs> okay. How a gambler. Yeah. Thief and gamble. Yeah, no, dwarf. Yeah. Well, bit, thief. This, this evil dwarf's a bit dodgy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I think perhaps I should let him meet my axe in a minute. One, two, three. All right, so is that done? Yeah, sorry, that's done now, isn't it? So that goes where? Out in the discard pile. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The chasm. Come on to the chasm, I think. Okay. And then draw one card. Draw one card. Yeah. There's an earthquake. An earthquake? An earthquake shocks the land. Roll one dice for each face up adventure card in the region. On a roll of one to a three, the adventure card tumbles down the discard pile. Right, so in this region... So what, the dragon? It's any card. So let's... I'll let you roll this. If you roll a one to a three, the dragon gets taken in an earthquake. I'm going to fight him. Three. He's gone. Yeah. Where does he go? In the discard pile. Um. And it's, it's an adventure. Right, it's your turn. Two. Oh, two cards. So, got a shovel. After rolling the dice in the crypt, subtract two from the total. Oh, that's good. It's an object. So, so the crypt is in the um, over here. So you take it's, a, it's advantage when you're in the middle. Armor. If you're defeated in battle and just lost a life, roll one die. If you roll a four, five, or six, the armor protected you and you do not lose that life. You've got armor? Yeah. Hold on, but you can't have more than four items without a mule. So one of those items you've got to drop on the space for another player. Well, the armor's better than the helmet. But the out, you can have a hell man. I would get rid of that rune thing because all that does is teleport you to the cracks. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's not a very good item, is so it? So where should I put that? So you, you've got to put it on the space you are. You just drop that on the okay. floor. You can't carry it. All right. My turn. Yep. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The wood. Yeah, I'm coming onto the woods. You're making a raft? Or? I'm, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I was just thinking that. But I'm just wondering. I haven't played this game for a long time. And I'm aware you need things like water bottles or you lose lives. Or you haven't got one. So I'm trying to think. What do I need before making that rock? Planes of peril. 
Do you know what I mean? Do you know, I'm going to actually take a risk, it says. Right? So, you may build a raft when you're in the woods or the forest. So, I'm going to build a raft. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to build my raft. And I can't carry it with me, right? You hold it just for a while. And then next turn, I'll cross the river. Hmm. Find it. A mule. Hmm. No one's got a mule. This is not good for me. Is there a raft card? Oh, yes, there is a raft card. Right, so I build my raft the next time. And that's your turn. Okay. I might be a bit too hasty though. I might not be strong enough. Oh, sex. Is that a graveyard? It's in the graveyard? Over here, for an evil person, um, one to four you're ignored, you roll five you gain a fate, six you gain a spell. You come round? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six! Oh, well done. Oh, I gave a spell. Gain your spell back. That one there? Yeah, the top card. Right. Is that your turn finish? Yeah. I'm cashing in my two strengths. So it's four and four. So it's more than seven for another strength. Okay, so one more strength. So base is eight now with whatever I've got. Okay, and I've now, um, I'm crossing over to there. So draw three cards. In the hidden valley. So let's see what happens. My first one, two. Do you think my luck's going to change? <laughs> right, the pool of fortune. Oh. A giant spider strength five and a chimera. Ah, oh, they're both two, so I have to add them together. Okay. So I've got to fight a, chim a, a chimera and a giant spider together. So they join into that strength eight. Okay. Um, I'm not going to pay my merchants. I want to keep my gold for later. So I've got eight, nine, ten. I'll get rid of my raft. Um, so I've got eleven strength. Yeah. Um, okay. If you want to roll for All that, right. they've got an eight, ten. I'll beat them. All right, you're, you're rolling for the um, yeah. monster. You, I, I, I thought I was rolling for my character. No, no, you were rolling for those. I beat them both. Oh, so I get those cards. So that's another eight, so I can cash them in for another strength point in a minute. Okay. And the pool of fortune, which was a six, so you do after it. That's yeah. raining hard. Yeah. Right. It says, place a total of four fate here. When revealed, you may bathe in the pool once per visit and take one fate from the pool. When all have been taken, the pool of fortune drains away and... To the discard pile. So, um, four fate tokens for these things. In the base game, it doesn't matter which way up these goes. Okay. So you got four foot fate. So I'll, I'll take one and leave one. So there's three there. So, so does it say like three every time you go round, if you allow, you can take one, take oh, one, take okay. one, until they've all gone. Then my turn now. Yeah. And two. No, I'm not fighting the Sentinel. <laughs> you don't have to. You can draw a card instead. And what's the village again? Right, so if you, haven't, you, know, you can go to the shop, the, uh, the blacksmith. Yeah. A helmet which you've got, a sword which you've got, an axe of three gold like I've got to make the rasp. Whether you need that, I don't know. A shield for three gold, an armour for four gold, which you've got, haven't you? You've only you've mm -hmm. got four items, so you'd have to drop something. You can heal, but you haven't been injured. And the village, at which you can gain your craft and spells. Um, yeah, I want a spell. Okay. I can have I, you got a spell? I've already got a spell. Am I allowed one? If you craft, um, what's your craft? Three. Yeah, you can only have another spell. So what is craft? Can I get another craft? You could get, if you, yeah. Um, if you roll a five, you gain a craft. All point. right. So I roll a two. Come on. Do you want to roll a five, then? Three. Oh, three. What's a three? Oh, you just get ignored. Oh. Yeah, I like it. 
this dodgy dwarf. Oh, uh, yeah. I told them about you when I went <laughs> there. I said, oh, this dwarf comes by. He's got this strange, like, some beard. Yeah. Some beard. Yeah, he's like a thief dwarf. I know. Gambler. Right, so now then, what's going to happen to me? Six. One, two, three, four, five. What's that over there? Um, a temple. Temple. And what's the six the other way? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, I'm going to the warlock. Why, 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 do, why do you want to go there? I want to go on a quest for him, I think. Well, what's the point of doing that? To get through to that bit. Right. So, what? can you read it all to right, me? Alright, so, what's this one? Read them both to it, you want So, if you go to the temple, you've got to roll two dice. Yep. So, two, two, twelve. Lose two lives, lose one life, lose one follower. And slave stay here until you roll a four, five, or a six for your move. Gain one strength, gain one craft, gain one spell, gain a talisman, gain two fate, gain two lives. No, I'm going on the warlock's click. Or I'm this gonna... one, you may roll one die to accept a quest. Yep. Take one life from another character, kill one enemy, deliver, discard one follower. Okay. Deliver, like, discard one magical object, discard three gold, two gold. And what's this? When you complete the quest, the warlock immediately teleports you back here and gives you a talisman, if available, as your reward. Yeah. So I need the talisman to unlock that portal. Right, I'm it. Right, so I'm rolling a dice, so here we go. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I need to think. Well, have you got a spell? I've got a spell. <laughs> Can it be cast at any time or just on your turn? At the start of your turn. So you can't cast it? No, your turn. But the enemy's turn. Cast on another character at the start of his turn. Oh, right. The character takes his move as normal, except that oh, you... Hold on a minute. Except you, that you decide which direction he moves in. Yeah, it, I've already moved. It's not... You, you need to do it before... Um, yeah, I, that's why I was asking you which... No, 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 I was asking which, like... Um, <laughs> hold on, okay. So, I, I, I was, is that why you was asking? Yeah, that's what I was asking. Which way and stuff? And asking, reading each option. Can I actually read... Now you've said it. Let me just read it. So cast on a player at the start of his turn. The character takes his move as normal. So you decide which direction he moves in. Okay, I think I'm going to allow that. If you could, because you did say it. So, so I want you there. Okay, put my character over there. What have I got to do? You got to roll um, on a from what from two to twelve. A two d six. Yeah. So I can get rid of that spell. Right. Hold on a minute. Is it higher the better? I presume it's higher the better, is it? Yeah. Right, so what? what's a seven? Gain the craft. And what are the what what gets a bit if I get a higher one? You can get a talisman out of ten. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do But I didn't want you to get a tie guaranteed talisman over here. But hold on, I'm gonna use no. um, one of my, oh my God, no. things to roll that dice again. What? Oh, please don't roll a six. So I want a six. Don't roll a six. Oh, same for seven. It didn't work. So I gained a craft, did I? Oh, that was lucky. That could have really backfired. Right, okay. It's a close call. I wanted you to get, like, lose two lives or something. Right. It's my turn. Oh, I've got to cross that desert now, which is amazing. <laughs> Alright, shall I roll the dice? Okay. Um, five. And go to the hills. The fields or the fields or the um, hills. hills. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, draw one card. Map. After rolling the dice in the mine, subtract two from the total. Is that an object though? Yeah. So you have to drop it. Until you get a mule. You need only roll two dice in the mines. And I can subtract two. As well, on top of it, if I wanted to. This is like shovel, isn't it? Um, nice. Short time, right? So, three, three. I'm actually going to use up another one of them to roll another the dice again. Alright. 
didn't work. Okay. Um, You're in the desert, you know. I'm going to the castle oh, where wow. my princess is. <laughs> okay. Right. So, princess, I'm selling you mm -hmm. for three gold. That's quite funny. You just sold the princess. It's your turn. All right. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. Going to the village again. Yeah. What is it again? Um. You, you, there's nothing to buy. Is it just to roll in the um mist? The roller dice. The higher the better. Five. Oh, six. That's a spell. I can't get one. Oh right. You oh yes, I used it. Did you use your spell? Yeah, I used it a minute ago, wasn't you? Didn't I? Oh, of course you did. That's useful. Okay. I'm just going to go to the room. You're not fighting them. I haven't got a talisman. Oh. If I'd have got the talisman, I would have been going there. Okay. That's how I stopped you, luckily. That was a good use of a spell. Oh, a black unicorn. Oh. Craft seven. Craft's my weak thing. Right. Okay. This is a good thing. Mm. Right, so we've got to fight a unit of black unit. Hold on. Um, he only has strength, doesn't he? Yeah. So I've got three, four, five, six craft. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. So we're fighting. Okay. You roll for him. <laughs> Come on. Oh, one. Oh, wow. That's lucky. Oh! Ooh, so we've drawn. What does that mean? So we, uh, it's just a stammer, so let's do it again. Okay. Come on, come on. Four! So he's got an eleven. Okay, come on. Five or six. Oh, oh no, I lose a life. Oh! Right. Oh, hold on a minute. What? <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm using up my thing to roll that dice again. Well, a four. Yeah, that no, you keep that no, you keep that there. Oh, right. That two, I roll my two again. Oh what? I still lose oh. my life. And the fate. Oh, I've already pet cashed that in. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Right, so okay, your turn. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Draw one card. Two bags of gold. Okay. So two gold and discard it. Thank you. It's on the card, Rich Dwarf. So what are you looking at? Um. Roll. Um. Yeah, there's not much I can really do here. I'm really behind at the moment. Ooh. You're like literally in the next region. I'm in the starting region at the moment. Yeah. So, what rules are we looking at? I'm um, just a combat. Two. I'm going back to the temple. <laughs> That's what I need. Right, so. Bef um, right, it said at any time I can cast this spell. Bless. Cast on yourself at any time. Replenish your faith up to your face value. No. So my fate goes back up to two. That's why I was using them up. I got a lot of fate, I got a five. 
So yeah. have you got five? Yeah, I've got five of them. Um, right, so now I need camera to turn off again, so we'll turn it back on. A nine. Oh. What does that say? <laughs> I gained one spell. I'm using up a faith to roll that one again. Oh. Oh, sick. What's that? What's that? So you got gain two fate. Oh, I've got two fate. That's quite good. Right, it's your turn. Four. Um. One, two, three, four, four. One card. Two bags of gold. <laughs> You're getting rich there. <laughs> I've got another two bags of gold. This little thief dwarf. Um, <laughs> there you go. How much gold have you got oh. your, your hoard over there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gold. Right. I think I need to come back down and PK him. Don't you think he's steal all his gold? Anyway, I forgot to do this earlier. I'm cashing those two in for another strength point. So I'm going to cash my strength in. Have you got seven total? I've got three. If you add them together, what are they? I've got one. You, you need to beat some more enemies. Ugh. Three. One, two, three. Lose one life and draw a card. I haven't got a wall. I'm not going to go. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm going to go to the castle. The royal lock will heal up to your life value. If I can. Cost of one gold each, which I do need to do. So I'm going to pay a gold. Okay. Life back. Okay. Your turn. All right. Come on. I need to get some luck. Three. One, two, three to the city, or one, two, three to the. As I know the chapel's about place. One, two, three to so the city. Visit the doctor. Heal up to two lives at the cost of one gold each. Alchemist, discard any number of objects you have and gain one gold for each. If you give one an object, you can okay. turn into gold. And what's this? The Enchantress Rom... It's a good one. Turned into a toad? Yeah, it's a, that's Lose it's one strength, lose one craft, gain one craft, go on. All right, I'll, I'll go for it. Oh, it's a 50-50 good or Please bad. don't turn me into a toad. That's <laughs> not... We've got the toads waiting over I there. I don't really want one. Oh, I, 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 saw, I saw a one, man. All right, um, five. So gain one strength. That's good. So strength. That's what I need. Yeah, so you need to take a bit more of a risk, don't you? I desperately need like like to attack monsters and quickly gun them. Four, four. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three. I'm coming this way. One, two, three, four. So back in the hills, I'm gonna draw a card. So I'm gonna start to the alpha. Mm -hmm. Fool's gold. All of your gold is fool's gold, gold and completely worthless. Oh. Discard all of your gold. Oh, no. it, along with there we go. I just lost four gold. There we go. Oh my god, if I stepped on that and I lost all my seven oh gold. Oh my god, I can't pay the guys over there now, I think. Huh. You know what's funny? If I got that card I know. and I lost all seven. That would have been really bad. No, it would be so unfair. I've been crying about that one. It's my turn. It's your turn. Come on. That's changed things a little bit. Six. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, so tavern, or one, two, three, to the chapel. The tavern. Okay, go on then. <laughs> oh, I rolled a two. Which does what? Get tipsy and fight a farmer with strength three. <laughs> having a brawl? Yeah, I'm having a brawl. <laughs> the dwarf and this farmer. Oh right. So this farmer, he doesn't, I, I told them about you as yeah. well. And he, he comes up to you and he does a right hook. And he rolls. A what? One, what? One. He completely <laughs> misses. Yeah. Three. Okay. You uh, beat him. Alright, uh, so that's, they don't get anything for I that. I don't think so, do you? No. no. You don't get even the car thing. Right. Um... Okay, so I lost all my gold, didn't I? Oh dear. Six. 
three. Three, okay. One, two, three. The chasm. Followers. Hmm? Got a roll for every follower. Hmm. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm just going to go that way. One, two, three. Don't have to fight him because I'm not crossing. I believe that's right, isn't it? Right. Oh, you can't evade him. Oh, you right. have to fight him. Okay, I'm going to fight him anyway. I want his strength. So, so seven craft or str strength. Yeah, I'm going to fight him with strength. That's so I've okay. got nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 strength. That you can't lose. So I beat Cerberus. My turn. My turn. And four. It's the forest. One, two, three, four. Right, yeah. Okay, a shrine place. The shrine of Romania for the rest of the game. Roll one die to play with the final results. Ignored. Game of fate. One gold, one spell, one life. Teleport any space in the same region. Okay. Okay. What are you going to do? So I've got to roll the dice, aren't I? Yeah. The one, I've got ignored. Okay. <laughs> Does it stay for, uh, forever? What does it say on? Is it a place? It's, the, it will remain here for the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah, until an earthquake or something takes. What? I just got ignored. <laughs> My evil dwarf got ignored. One. one. I'm going to the castle. That one there, the Black Knight. Suffer one penalty. Either pay a gold which I don't have, or lose a life. So I'll go that way. Um, I don't, don't need to heal, so I'm just going to stay in the castle. Okay. I'll talk to the princess, who probably ignores me after selling. Five. One, two, three, five. Planes. One, two, three. The map be yeah, up, so one, two, three, four, five. Draw one card. A raft. Mm. On your next turn, instead of your normal move, you may choose to cross the river to a space directly opposite the one you're in. Whether you whether you cross or not, place the raft on discover as it cannot be carried of you. So you have to choose to keep it for your. Wait, what's turn? the card? Oh, I'm I'm all right in the chasm, aren't I? Yes. It's one of your you, you need not to roll the die in the crags or the chasm unless you wish to. Yeah. Oh, that's a chasm. Ah. It's up to you. I um. So if you if you have to keep it. Yes, yeah, it's discard it anyway. Okay, yeah. Uh, you can't carry yeah, it. True. So it's your much, choice. I got f four, five strength. It's not high enough, is it? Doing the brave coming across the river and well, I, need, I can't let you get away with this. I need to like, do something about it, don't I? So, uh, is that next turn? Or? Yeah, next turn you just have to cross. Okay. Is that what you're going to do? It's up to I'll leave you, you to think about it. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Two cards. Yeah. Mm. yeah. One, two, three. Wait, now I'm going that way. Ooh. The Oasis. There's a hermit and a gremlin follower. Right, so he's the lower point. So um, roll a dice and place a hermit on the indicated space. So he goes in. One, the crypt. Where's the crypt again? It is. Oh, there, isn't it? Yep, so put him in the crypt. He will give the first character visiting him there a talisman if available and then vanish. So he goes there. If I can get there, I you can, have to beat the black unicorn. I beat the black unicorn. I can get a talisman. That's really good. Well, do you have to fight the black unicorn? Whoever gets it. If you want to come up, you'll come up next time. You can get them. You might do a oh. run. And the gremlin. What does he do? You must take the gremlin as a follower. Whenever you try to use an object, you must first roll one dice. One to two. Discard the object and lose a life. God. So it's a bad follower, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. The object fails to work during the turn. <laughs> Three or four. The object works and you may discard the gremlin if I roll a five and six. Oh, that's a really bad card. That's, really, that's good for me. God. 
It's your turn. Oh yeah, so I'm actually going to cross. Yes, yeah, so you just cross over. Didn't you? That's my turn. And you don't have to roll here, no. It's just my turn, haven't it? Okay. Right. Um. So this. All right. I'm, I'm taking a bit of a risk here. This could. Uh, but is you're going too far ahead. I need to. Right. I'm cashing him in for a craft of things. Okay. Your I believe you can cast him in. Even though I beat him on strength. Do you think that's fair? It says strength seven, craft seven. So you can cast it, cash him in um, for either. Probably, yeah. I believe that would be yeah, fair. Yeah, that'd be fair. Two. Perfect. Right. I want to roll a dice for the quest, don't I? You better not be able to pay one gold. Free. Discard one follower. <laughs> Deliver discard one follower. No, what? No, no, is it really that one? I'm getting rid of the gremlin. It says discard a follower, doesn't it? It, it says free. Deliver in brackets. Discard one follower. Yeah, that he's a follower. What? So where does he go on, on the discard? Uh, I think he just gets discarded. Yeah. It's a card. That's really lucky. <laughs> the gremlin but... didn't last long, did it? So well, I didn't get mine. You may roll one die to accept a quest. So what? Do you get a talisman for that? Oh, is that what it is? Isn't what he said. When you complete the quest, the warlock immediately teleports yeah. you back here and gives you a talisman. I did. I got my talisman. Oh, what? She so got rid of your gremlin and got, and a, got talis a talisman. That's really lucky. Right. So oh. I need to get back there now. It's your turn. Oh my god! You're gonna win this. Um, Hold on a minute. Um, I beat. I, I forgot. But when I beat Serb, I keep forgetting to get my tokens. Every battle I win, I should get one of them. Yeah. I, for, I just completely forgot. It doesn't matter because. Wait, you got tokens. So does that mean I get one? No, it's my character's special ability. Oh right. Every time I beat a monster, I get one. But I keep. I've, okay. It's all right, because in this game, we've always played. If you overlook something, there's right. no sort of going back. Shall I just? Oh mate, so I need to make sure I'm getting that man too. What? One? Get, get there to get a talisman. Ruins. What does that say? So what, do I, what can I do in the ruins again? Draw a card. Do not draw a card if there's there. And what's the runes? Right. Any creatures that you fight here add two to their attack rolls. So they get the magic runes in their attack. Um, doesn't make a difference, does it? Rooms. Okay, draw a card. An axe. You've got four items. You don't need it, do you? Add one to your strength during battle. Add one to your strength during battle. The only reason you have But you just may build a raft. Yeah, so that is better than a sword, isn't it? Are you true, yeah. Probably better to swap it. You've got the sword there. Okay, it's your turn. Is it? Let's finish, isn't it? I'll just roll, didn't yeah. I? Six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I don't need to fight. So I'm coming over here to get my own back. Oasis is a good place. One, two, three. What's that? The Cursed Glade. Draw one card. Do not. Um, strength and craft drive from objects and magic objects do not count on this space. Nor are you using magic objects or spells, so no magical items work in the curse plate. Just you. One, two, three. No, that's a good place, isn't it? One, two, three. Draw two cards. So. Oh, what? I've got to fight these together. Are they the same number? Yeah, Goblin, Trapsmith, and Trapper. So both 2-2, two, two. strength 1, strength 2, so it's easy. Oh. A goblin traps him, uses a net to entangle his victims. You must roll one extra die for your attack roll, and use the lowest result. The Romanian until it's killed. And trapper, strength 2. Roll two dice. If the result is equal to or less than your craft, you may evade the trapper. If it's high, you must fight him. But you may not roll a die for your attack roll. He will remain here until he is killed. What? So how does that even work? 
So they're both together. Okay. So I need to roll two dice for this trapper to see if he's even in the b battle. Okay, start with that one. Remember, you do the one you got first. The card that came first goes first. You have to do that card first. So you must roll one extra die. Yeah, but he's not in the battle, though. Okay. At the moment, unless I roll... Fair enough, it makes sense. On. That's an eight. Equal to or less than your craft. He wasn't. He's over your craft. Yeah, so he's in the battle. Yeah. Um, no. Let me have a little read of him. A goblin traps me. uses his net to entangle. You must roll one extra die for your attack roll and use the lowest result. Right. So you're not allowed to roll. You just have to fight him with strength. Whatever your strength is. Right, what about him? Lowest result with the dice roll. Um, let me have a look. This is really complicated, isn't it? Um, a goblin... Uses... So you can't use a dice to fight them. Right. So he traps you. I think that's fair. And they've got strength three. So you've got... Um, they've... We don't have to roll the dice twice and pick the lowest result. Yeah, but he's not letting you roll the dice. Oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah. You don't get an attack roll because of him. Yeah, yeah. Right, so they roll, oh, wow. they get a roll, three plus five. What's your strength? Uh, totally. Three. But you got one of them, is it? Oh, no. you got four red... Four. Five for the axe. Yeah. So it's just a standoff. Oh. So they stay there. It's okay. Okay. My turn. Yeah. I, I suppose I said you could have used, remember you've got things like axe, you've got all things like shields and armour, haven't you? Yeah. What does the armour do again? If you're defeated in battle and just lo and just lost a life, roll one die. If you if you are four, five or six, the armour protected you and you did not lose that life, okay. though you still lost the battle. Okay. Right, so I need a two. Four. One, two, three, four. 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 Hmm. four. I'm going to go there and fight this unicorn. And oh, they're the same. Yeah, so I've got to fight the unicorn before that one. So if you roll for the unicorn, please. Equal crop. Four. 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 Right, right, I'm using up a thing to roll that dice again. Still lose. So I lose a life. Um, and now this guy. You lost that black unicorn well, twice now. Yeah, I have not I? Right. He'll give me a talisman if I want. So right. I'm going to take his talisman. Okay. There's only four in the game. I'm allowed to carry four objects. Right. Just to stop you getting one. Well, you just took the talisman? Yeah. Oh. It's called talisman for a reason, this game. What? One, two, three, four. I could have got it. Well. Fight me if you want. One, two, three, four. The chasm. Is there anything I can do on that actual ball? Can I draw one card? Yeah. yeah. If you, you either fight me or the unicorn. I can't draw a card. No, not with a card already. Okay, so I'm going back to the card. One, two, three, four. Oh, two. No. Yes. One, two. Portal of power. Um, what? Well, if you're crossing to the painter, do not draw a card. Instead, you must fight. First, use craft to pick the lock or strength to force it. Choose its ability using. And then roll two dice. If the total is equal to or less than your chosen ability, move to the plane of right. So, so, I'm really, so I can't use a mercy. It's not. So I've got. 8, 12, 13, 14. Well, I can't lose. For 
guaranteed to beat that. So if your total is equal to Hold on a minute. Yeah, it is. I, I roll less than that. I could, I, yeah, I lost. I, I rolled less. Than that. Um, move to the plane of peril. If it is, I can move to the plane of peril. Stop here. Move one space at a time. Oh. I need to get one, two, three, four, or go that way. My time. Yep. What was that? That's the runes. The enemy gets plus two to their attack roll. If there's an enemy. It might not be an enemy, it might just be you draw a card. I need this thing here. <laughs> What? A Lemuel. Craft one. This low creature from the underworld pounces you from the shadows or remain until it's killed. There's plus so it's craft three now. Is it, uh, no, well, yeah, it gets three to. Is that what it is? It's craft one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Imp creature. So it's equal. Right, so he rolls three. You beat him, yeah, so right. you get a craft point for the loads of the castle. Okay. Right, so now which I don't I can't remember which is a good way to go. Dice with death. Werewolf den. Mines. So don't roll the dice. So what does a crypt do? Roll three dice. Track your strength. Total. Direct Power. What? Oh, they're back there, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh. I'm going to go that way. So, three dice and take my strength. Twelve strength. Okay. So I'll take twelve away from this. It's good. It's good. Eight. So I, it's a zero. So I stay there. Okay. That's what I wanted. Low dice. Remember, you can get a talisman there. Yeah, but one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll lose a life. One, two, three, four, five, six. The castle. And you can, remember, you can. You haven't lost life, but the castle is a safe place. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Right. Can you just read out what dice for death does? Roll two dice for yourself and two dice for death. If the scores are equal, dice with death again on your next turn. Right. If your score is lower, lose one life and dice with death again on your okay. next turn. Right. If your score is high, you may move on okay. your next turn. So it's like a 50-50 roll, isn't it? Mm. So I'm going that way. So dice with death, if you can... So you roll two dice for death. And I've got to get higher, haven't I? Um, yeah. Right. Eight. I'm casting invisibility, so death didn't see me. Oh. Oh. Lucky. <laughs> I need. Come on. Oh, a four. One, two, three, four. Just draw a card. Not bad. One, two, three. Ha. 
You got the rune sword. The rune sword. What exactly does it do? No good captain may have the rune sword. I'm evil, so it's fine. Yeah. Add one to your strength during battle. I remember that being better than that. Is that what it is? When you use the rune sword in battle, defeat an enemy or another character and then cause them to lose a life, you gain one. Oh, you just get, you steal it. It's basically like Stormbringer in this story, Elric. Isn't it? Oh, I thought it was like plus 10 strength or something silly. It's all right if you've, but remember, it's like. Is that better than the axe? It is, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I'll tell you that's better than the axe. Got the rune sword. It's good to have. Come on, I need to like speed up here. Right. You can't win. No. So I move to the werewolf. Can you read what happens to me now in the werewolves then? Roll two dice for the werewolf's strength, then fight it. If you lose one life and you and you fight the same werewolf again on your Okay. Yeah, and then you fight this on your next turn. You cannot move until you have to defeat the werewolf. Fair enough. The werewolf strength. So if you roll two dice for its strength. I should beat it anyway, because I've got I hope you are as well. No, no. So it's strength seven. Okay. So now if you roll, so strength seven, roll for that. Seven plus one, one dice for the battle. Oh, is it? So it's seven to twelve. So I roll. I beat it. Oh, what? Wow. So the next roll I can move on to okay. the Valley of Fire. <laughs> I need to I get like there. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five. I need to roll five. Come on, come on. Oh, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's the castle. One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh, no, yeah, four. What's my. Where's my arm? You did have oh, You knocked it out. Oh. Okay. Right. Can you read what the Valley of Fire says to me? You must have a talisman to yes, enter. You can only enter if you have a talisman. Yeah. If you do not have one, you must turn back. The crown of command can only be reached from this space. Right. What do you want? That's it. You just need a talisman. I've got a talisman. No. <laughs> so ne I think that's your next turn I'll go. We'll play it this next turn. I'm not sure if that's in the rules or not. I'll have to check, but you get one last turn. Oh my. See if you can get a spell or something that can um, block me or teleport me. Or oh my God. Oh, this is actually intense. I need to think hard about this. What can I do? Have I got anything? Yes, yeah, some of the players I used to play with back in the day, they would save really nasty spells, like he hex spells and things, to cast you right at the end. Oh. Three. Okay. Come on. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Three. Roll two dice. Nothing like nine. Gain one spell. Ooh, that's what you wanted. Yeah. You might get a spell that can cast a meteor. Wait, but I've only got three craft and I've got a spell already, haven't I? I think you could discard that spell to get another. I think that's yeah. Allowed. So get rid of that spell. Oh my god, please! And see if it's something please. That's, that's what you want to. I think that's a fair. Please. Oh my god, I'm begging you, please give me a good spell. Oh, that's not what I wanted. It's a summon spell. Summon spell? That's lucky. If I got like teleport, I would have teleported right back oh, to the no, beginning. Oh no, no, it's no good for you. So, oh that that I was what I was trying to do, gain one spell. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do actually, gain a spell and see if I can teleport you. But no, it didn't work. Oh well. Okay, so oh. on my turn, I now will use my talisman to oh. cross, and I get up to the crown of power. Is and you win. Yeah. No, oh, that's so, a good game. I was, so the totem warrior, he was quite lucky throughout the whole of this game. Oh, that's right so. Right from the start, he was lucky. My dwarf, uh, just, I don't know. And I played like a noob. I forgot to keep collecting my totem spirit. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. Anyway, it's game over. Right, the camera just went off again. Um, as we were saying, yeah, it's so game over. Game over, so. Yeah, so guys, we hope you actually enjoyed this. Uh, 
a bit different to our Neville and Tights playthroughs, but you know what? We enjoy playing Talisman. Never said we're good at it, but... We played like noobs, to be honest, I think. Yeah, I must admit, I... I, I was just lucky. I didn't play too well. I like <laughs> I didn't get that far. Well, Kane hasn't played this game. I think he's played is it twice. I played it. Life? I played it once, like a years ago, ago. Years ago, yeah. whatever. So yeah, there's that. So um, farewell, fantasies. Until next time. If you enjoyed this and want more fantasy, why not head over to our other YouTube channel called Tales, where you'll find many great audiobooks, including fantasy. Link in the description.